the child of nature. Clouds were a thing of beauty in the mind of Nathan, he found them mesmerizing. Their range from being fluffy dots in the sky, to waves of white that covered the entire horizon, was truly magnifying. He had spent hours staring up into the blue, never-ending surface, forgetting his worries and anxiety. Some of his most peaceful moments occurred at sunset, the fire of light igniting the sky in an array of colors. Nathan had the perfect spot to relax, the same spot he was occupying right now. It was away from the turmoil of the modern city, a hill that stood up high, overlooking the nature below. As he rested on top, laying on his back, his eyes became out of focus as he let the view consume his senses. A smile crept across his face as his mind remained clear of thought, such peace was the most valuable commodity in existence. Nathan sat there for a great while, until he drifted into a light sleep that he could not remember. As his eyes fluttered and he awoke, the blue sky had disappeared. Instead, left in its wake was a dark, cloudy tidal wave. It had casted the land in shadow, lightning crackled above. Nathan determined that it was time to leave, and so he picked himself up from the vibrant grass and prepared to walk home. He turned his eyes to the sky a final time, but was unable to look away. Something had caught his eye, a small swirl in the darkness. It was rotating lightly, barely noticeable. Nathan remained there for several minutes, watching out of curiosity. His eyes began to widen as the funnel cloud picked up traction and became larger every second. Before his very view, it had gone to being barely more than a whisper, to a strong, powerful finger of the sky. Without a second thought, Nathan sprinted as fast as his legs could maintain. He dared not to look back as he continued to run. After several minutes, he had made it to a smaller hill that was near a suburban neighborhood. Against his better judgment, he turned around. A monster had taken center stage, it was as if God had reached down to earth. The beast had touched ground and had managed to strengthen at an impossible rate. The tornado was massive, debris was visible, flying around at dangerous speeds. Nathan was struck with fear, his legs would not move. As the monstrous storm moved forward, it passed him, invading his eardrums with the sound of destruction as it entered the neighborhood. He could not look away, he was faced to watch as the demon ruined the lives of many, leaving only death and those to mourn it. The beautiful sky that he loved dearly had taken its vengeance, sparing none that had the misfortune of being in its path. Nature did not love, it did not hate, it was immovable as the child it had created.